So webhooks has finally landed from Intuit, and uh, this just can't be a moment too soon, really, because the um, the prospect you have otherwise is that you have to do a, make a polling process uh, using CDC queries, and, and this is this is really hard to do, um, and uh, you know, you still may need to to do this. In fact, in the the best practices section of uh, uh, the, the documentation, it still recommends doing a CDC query. But anyway, uh, having webhooks is huge. Let's dive in and uh, take a look at how you get started. And if you don't, <coughs> if you don't understand what webhooks are, um, basically what happens is when, I'm going to go over here to my sandbox, and here I have it, I'll be working with an estimate. And when I change this estimate, I want to know when the user uh, for a particular realm ID is changing the status, let's say, for um, an estimate or I'm um, changing the quantity. What QuickBooks will do, what the API will do, is send a request back to your server that a change was made on, on an estimate. Okay, so um, it's totally reverse of the API, so to speak, where you're uh, sending a request to the Intuit API, you're getting the response back here. Intuit is sending you a response. Okay, let's set that up. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to use the great QBO API gem. If you're not using this gem in Ruby, you should be. Uh, I have a little write up here why it's a better choice in QuickBooks Ruby. Nothing wrong. In, in some regard with QuickBooks Ruby, but there is something wrong with QuickBooks Ruby, I guess. That's what I'm saying in this 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 uh, uh, article. So go read that. Now, you at least have to do, I'm not going to cover this setup right now. We, gotta, we have to spin up the example in QBO API, okay? So you got to do all this stuff right here uh, before you move on right now. All right, uh, so... I'm in my directory here for QBO API. You're going to have a directory too because you're going to get clone uh, from the uh, example in the README. So, the old tmux. And you're going to start up the example. Now, I always use Shotgun to start up a uh, Sinatra app because it automatically reloads it. And it's really a great, uh, automatically reloads the app RB file. And that's really what you want. Um, so I, I would install Shotgun, Gem install so Shotgun, uh, but you could do the do the Ruby example uh, app RB as well. I'm gonna start it up. Okay, we're in port 9393. Let me open up example app RB. I'm gonna zoom the windows, so it's easier to see. Okay, so we got, um, Here's our router in Sinatra. Now we're going to need to, let's go back to the documentation here. So what, um, uh, you know what, actually I'm going the wrong uh, steps here. Let's let's go to the, what you, what you want to do is go to your developer site. Let me see if I'm still logged in here. Okay, so lo log on at developer.intuit.com. Okay, for your app, again, in this step, you have to at least sign into developer, intuit.com, and you got to uh, make an app. All right, so you should have that step uh, done. So I'm inside uh, QBO API app. Okay, I also have a sandbox named QBO API. It can get a little confusing because this is sort of the server uh, this is your app. This is the central location for your app. It's here. It's called QBO API, and then your client is 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 the sandbox. Okay, so it gets a little confusing when you give it the same name. Uh, sometimes it's uh, at least uh, it gets confusing for me. Uh, so what I want to do is I'm in development dashboard here. Go to settings, and I'm already going to have something in here. Um, and this is what I have in here. So under webhooks, the first thing you're going to need to do 
is you need to create a URL that Intuit can talk to, that can send a post request to. We send a post request to your URL. To do that, the standard way to do that is ngrok. So what ngrok does, and uh, I already have it downloaded uh, for Mac. If you're on Windows, you're gonna need to get ngrok for your environment, for your OS. It creates, this is, this is such a cool service, it creates on your local machine a web server that somebody on the outside can talk to. Uh, it may, it's really pretty cool technology. Um, and uh, let's set that up. That's the first thing we need to set up first, okay? So um, to do that, let me get out of zooming here. And I'm gonna go over to this window. I'm gonna split this up and then I'm gonna zoom this window. Okay, I have ngrok installed. Um, you should put it in a place uh, command line wise where you can get it from any directory. And uh, I put uh, ngrok super simple on OS X, I put it under use a local bin so I can get to it from anywhere. And uh, since we're on port 9393, we need to put that into the command. So I'm in the, uh, it, it actually doesn't matter what directory you put this in because um, as long as it's on the same port, this is gonna work. So we do ngrok HTTP uh, 9393. Okay, and this is what we get. So it creates a special URL for us. And I'm gonna grab that URL here. I'm using cut and paste from Tmux. You should see my Tmux series if you like Tmux, not using it and you wanna use it. And uh, here is the, this URL is different every time. So that URL is bad now that I have currently set up. So I'm gonna save this. Let's get out of zoom mode and I'll just leave it there. And let me go back over here. I'm going to put this new URL in here. And we're going to have a uh, path of webhook. So let me just stick it back here. So it's got a different URL from last time. And I'm going to click estimate here too. And uh, all these are fine. All right, so now we have this URL. Now we, we actually don't have this path set up yet. We're gonna do that in a second. Let's also do this. Um, you're gonna show your token, copy it to your clipboard. Okay, you wanna put this into your, here you made an env um, uh, file. Okay, you want to make a um, variable in there called QBO API verifier token. All right, so put it in there. Um, let me write it out here too. So it, uh, let's go back over here. I'm going to be zooming in and out. But we want to make, I'm going to call it verifier token equals env qbo api verify verifier token okay so that's what you want to make in the m file all right so we'll it'll look in the m file where we got an m file example here you're going to put it in like that qbo api verifier token and you put that cut and pasted uh, token in there. Okay, so that's done now. Okay, that's as much as we got to do over at the uh, over here. So let's go back. So we got this in too. And since we're let me just go, since we're using shotgun, this is automatically going to be reloaded. I think we may have to restart. Sometimes shotgun doesn't catch everything. I don't think. I don't know if it catches uh, setting an M file. But anyway, let me go back into. Uh, uh, not zooming and okay so it said it is going to do a post request okay so we're now back in Sinatra here the app.rb and we're going to make a post here called webhooks and we want to test uh, the verification first so 
let's put verified and we'll have a variable for that. All right. All right. All right, let's put, we need to put the verified code in there. I'm gonna cut, copy and paste some code in here. Let's get a uh, helper in here to help verify. You need to verify the request coming in, basically, it's security. So let me cut and paste this in. And uh, so this is gonna verify the webhook. We're gonna send the data from the body in and um, we're going to be checking uh, what they send us. They send us the, um, is this? Okay, that we got, I don't have the, uh, let me just clean up this paste here. Uh, that looks good. Okay, so it should look, look like this here. And, um, we're going to use the verifier token here we just put in. Okay, so here we got the verifier token and uh, they're going to send us something in the header that we uh, compare this verifier token and then we're going to know that this is a good request. So uh, to use these two as well, we're going to need to uh, require open SSL and we need to require uh, base. 64. Okay, I'm coming back after like a couple days break here now to the uh, screencast and I'm going to just test to make sure that the ngrok IO um, uh, URL is still working uh, because the machine was shut down, no internet connection. So a way to do that is, and I already tested it, um, but let me just show that here as well. Um, you can do this when you first make your ngrok tunnel just to make sure it's up and accepting connections. So um, I'm going to go to the command line here uh, within Vim and I'm going to do curl x. Do a, I'm going to do a post to the URL I have set here. I just copy and pasted that. That's the URL right now set up into the uh, developer account. And uh, so I sent the request. Now over here, I'm going to go over here to the Sinatra window. Um, you're going to see that we do have a, a call in here. So it is, it's July 26th right now. Um, why am I not getting this? There we go. This line here. So we got a post. I just sent the post in. So the server's up, the NGROC tunnel is working, so everything's fine, even though I took a few days off here. Let me unzoom. All right, so let's finish up the, I'm gonna zoom here. Let's go back to where we were here, the post. Okay, so let's do a request, body. Rewind, this is just good practice here in within Sinatra. I don't know why I totally have to do that. But um, then let's read the body in. Okay, that's gonna be the what we're calling the data. Um, so let's do a verified variable and we're gonna verify the webhook. Put in the data. And this is where it's a little interesting <clears throat> because the documentation says uh, when validating the no notification that you're going to get a header called Intuit Signature. Uh, it's all in lowercase too. It's kind of interesting. Usually the headers come in, um, not all in lowercase. But um, the uh, what I see when when doing some of the samples is that what's in the header is HTTP into it signature okay that's what is coming in there as that um, uh, that SHA-256 algorithm 
uh, that you want to pass in here and that's the right header and it's all uppercase uh, so let's oops okay so these are the steps we're going to need to verify the request here I'm going through now this step here validating the notification in the documentation let me do one more step too let's do a uh, take a look at the data the data is going to be in JSON so let's put it into a Ruby language the Ruby object or Ruby hash I forget what parse does exactly and um, Let's get out of zoom mode. And now we are ready to receive a webhook. So I'm going to go back to my sandbox. And uh, let's change. Is it, remember, it's an estimate that I, that I set up to receive a webhook. OK. And um, let's change the pending status of this to accepted. And uh, we don't have to actually fill in the accepted date. Let's just do save. All right, now this should send a webhook over. Um, it's not going to happen instantaneously. So I'm just going to go offline and wait for it. OK, I'm back online. This is about 15 seconds later. We do have the webhook in. And I'm over here in the Sinatra window. And uh, we can see here that there was a call that came in right here okay and here is the JSON parse of the data we just I just just did and it, the verify was true here too now I'm also getting an error here this is because I don't have the the um, secret option uh, provided in the rack session cookie uh, I should get rid of that too that really is simple as just putting uh, this secret just putting some stuff in there okay then we won't get that error anymore so just wanted to do that but you can see we're now ex got the request okay and it's coming in nice now uh, here you'll see the here's the estimate there's the ID that it is all right so I, I would now go find that ID and go ahead and change whatever was changed there so gonna stop here now that's gonna get you started I'm going to have more code into the QBO API library like I'm gonna merge this in uh, next screencast is gonna be about testing a webhook it's totally different right because you're getting the request in so how are you gonna do that so I'm gonna do a test I'm gonna get um, that test into the QBO API library add it whatever code maybe we're, we're going to need for that library to maybe uh, make accepting webhooks better i don't know if there's going to be anything actually maybe i just add the test and and put these examples in just so it's easier to get started into the example code but thanks for watching stay tuned for the next one